after the super typhoon Yolanda hit part of our diocese, especially in the southern part of uh, the diocese of Barongan. And the place was really uh, totally devastated. Many houses were totally destroyed and many also were washed out by the storm surge. That's why uh, people were really uh, trying to cope up this kind of uh, hard situation and at uh, the same time to accept reality that uh, many of their loved ones were dead. So this is how uh, the people uh, cope up as of now after the Super Typhoon Yolanda. And because of the situation that they have no food, no shelters, practically nothing at all. They're back to uh, zero. So the church, uh, the diocese, uh, try, tried to respond their needs, like after the typhoon, uh, two days after the typhoon, so we're trying to really deliver the relief goods to them, like food, uh, drinking water. So as fast as two days, as fast as two days. Yes, uh, the typhoon was Friday. So Monday, we were able to de de deliver uh, relief goods to the area, Monday. Because uh, before the typhoon, I called up the manager of uh, NFA in our province, and I asked him to reserve for the diocese at least 300 sacks of rice. Mm -hmm. So that was already uh, in the, at the warehouse. Then after the typhoon, we pull it out, then make, made the payments, then repack, then distribute it to the, the victims, but those who are uh, reachable at that time. Mm -hmm. Because not all uh, victims were reach, reachable, reachable. At, after two days. Uh, mm. So that's, part, uh, that's, that's how we uh, made our response to the Super Tepo Nilanda. Many people, especially uh, foreigners, were amazed at the degree of devastation, but also at the and the reaction of the people to the devastation, uh, what what would you like uh, to share regarding? Actually, regarding actually, father, you know, after after three days, so uh, Giwan was already passable at the time. So I went to Giwan and tried to uh, ask our priest, was there any injured in the convent or how many were, uh, casualties? Then uh, I met. Uh, media people from South Korea. So they interviewed me and the per first question they asked was, Bishop, we are so uh, surprised by the reaction of the people after the super typhoon Yolanda. That amidst of this uh, vast destruction of the typhoon, but why is it that people can still manage to smile? So they were surprised by why people are, can still manage to smile after the destruction. So I told them, I have two reasons to give you. The first is that after the Super Typhoon Yolanda, many of their loved ones were dead. All the properties were destroyed. And they can, they can, they can easily cope up. Why? Because they believe, we believe in God, and we trust so much that God will not abandon us. And this is the first reason why People, people can still manage to smile after the vast destruction of the Super Typhoon Yolanda. And the second reason I gave was uh, because of the support that we give to the members of the family from friends and the church, we are assured that uh, we are not alone in this uh, kind of uh, uh, suffering that we undergo now. And these things that people uh, have in their lives, they are assured. Uh, they, they get their strength from this uh, support that they get from their family members. In other words, our people were even evangelizing others by the way they reacted. That's it, Father Yuli, because uh, in, the past, in the part of the Gospel of St. Luke, uh, two days before the Feast of Christ the King, mm -hmm. uh, Christ said that remember the times of persecution, times of famines and tra tragedies, tragedies in life, it is then that you can proclaim faith, you can proclaim Christ, you can proclaim God to other people.